It's time to create with Quimby. Here's a great way to take your home wall decor to the next level. If you're looking away from the screen, turn back, check this out. I just think this is such a great idea. A picture frame made out of an old window frame. Super creative. So of course our DIY extraordinaire, Shannon Quimby, behind this unique project, joins us live in studio. Take us through this. How did you how did you go about this? Well, I'm remodeling. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm remodeling this great house out in McMinnville. It's called Hoff's Homestead. And part of it is, is what do we do with these old windows? Yeah. If you can't save them. I'm all about saving. Sure. Mm. But in but a lot of these, you know, they've got a lot of history behind they them. They do. I like the paint. They have so much character. They do. Yeah. They're so cool visually. They are. Not the most, you know, environmentally economical these days. So I understand why folks would be updating their windows yeah. and, and making their home more efficient. But you don't want to lose some of that character. No, yeah. When you say not efficient, it is burr. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to, put it, yeah to put it nicely. Yeah. yeah. So I thought of, you know, what can I do? I, this was inspired literally by a walk, mm -hmm. um, and I had my phone, and right spring, it's everything's just blooming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this is really easy, you guys. I just walked around the block, and I just took pictures of trees. I uh -huh. just looked up, and you can take pictures of flowers, and it's really simple. Fun, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, of course, I give you the end job. Uh -huh. Okay. So I've already cut out, and I'll show you what you do, but I'm just going to have you guys tape, and I've already lined them up, and you're just going to tape these on the back of this frame. Okay. 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 So, and I'm going to show the steps. Okay, okay, great. Okay. So, first thing you want to do is find an old window. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Say you're not remodeling or so forth, but you know what? Listen, you can go to a lot of salvage places like oh, yeah. the Rebuilding Center or any of the Habitat for Humanity restores. Okay. You know, and sure. I mean, or your neighbors, mm -hmm. um, because we don't want it to throw it away. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. And so that's basically what I do. And I'll just take. I just here's another one of those windows right uh -huh. there, the paned ones. Now you don't have to have a paned one. You can have, a lot of them are just like one pane. Uh -huh. Okay. And I don't know if you know, but a lot of these, this glass, it's hand blown glass. Oh wow! Oh, yeah, when you look when you look through these windows and it looks kind of wavy, that's literally because it's hand blown. So wow. it's I know. So it adds actually even more of a nice decorative element. Would to you ever it. see that anymore? Is that no? Interesting. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. So you just take an old window and, like I said, just walk around. Now you don't have to even take pictures if you've got. You know, artwork, your kids' artwork, right. or you know, family photos. Oh, that's a good idea mm -hmm. for the for the kids' art projects yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So here's just some pictures I took and just mm -hmm. was walking around, and I just have a cutter here. Now you can take. This is a cutting board right here that I have. I hadn't seen one of those. I, I saw that and I was like, I was like, what year is that? I think I just went back to high school. I don't think it's the last time I've seen one of those paper, paper cutters. Cutter, yeah. yeah. You can still buy them. Yeah. Yes, I am dating myself, but you can also take scissors too. But the reason I like this is because, you know, boom. Yeah. Uh -huh. It just slices. So you want to measure right. and mark the inside of your uh, window panes. Measure twice, cut uh, once. Mm -hmm. Got that right. Got so my that dad right. always tells me before I mess up a project. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The beauty about this one too is if you don't if you do mess up, it's okay. Just print out another That's one. True. That's so true. Yeah. It's it's pretty cost yeah. effective. So you just cut them around and then you just kind of place it on each pane as uh -huh. you go. Look at you guys already. Got it you gave us I a mean, job. We yeah, had a job to so do. It's so simple. Actually, I had two of these frames, uh -huh. and I thought, well, Should we didn't have enough. Yeah. And Look. voila. Voila. How about Isn't that? that just... Wow. It is so pretty, but it's so, so simple. And you can see that blown glass finish yes. in, mm -hmm. the, in the studio lights. You're right. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, good call. Uh -huh. wow, and then you just put some hangers on the back. Yeah. Now, if you put in the back of this, if you uh -huh. turn around, there's the kind of the yucky side of the window. Flip whatever you can see. Yeah, but you want to get these um, fuzzy little... I put these on the bottom of furniture. Oh, yep. So you want to put these on the back like oh, this. So if you do hang it on the wall, wall yeah. it doesn't scrape. Because it is, it is going to yeah. be a little abrasive. Yeah. yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. And Especially these, when, you know, if it's an old window and like yes. old paint chips, you don't know what color, you know, skids it's going to leave on the wall. Nice. Just, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so that wow. just kind of buffers it. There and then go. also it prevents the window from teetering. Mm -hmm. um, on the wall, mm -hmm. but like I said, look, that it's just really simple. Mm -hmm. It's really easy. Yeah. And and this actually kind of goes, kind of coincides with this show that we're doing. Yeah. Right. Yes. I know. Yeah. Par. It's called Par Weekend Warriors. Uh -huh. Redo with Q. And um, so the next episode is this Thursday. Okay, so it drops on, on YouTube tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. God, is that tomorrow already? Yes. yes. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> that is I know, but it's literally, you know, how to repair 
old window sash cord. So mm. if you can save the windows, mm -hmm. do it, which we did. Mm -hmm. right nice, here. yeah. yeah. And, and cool. then made yeah. great use out of it because you know, this is gorgeous. I just love, I love the repurposing because I think the other thing that people don't always think about with home renovation is is some of the, the home waste and, and you know throwing oh. out building materials. It, not only is it expensive when you can't repurpose, but there can be a lot of toxic chemicals. There mm. can be a lot of other byproducts that shouldn't be going straight to a landfill. So whatever you can do to be more mindful about repurposing some of the stuff in your home, I just think it's a great idea. Exactly. I, I'm I am on board with that with that from day one. Yeah. It's so true. I've got my Earth Day cap on right now. You know, we're, <laughs> we're doing all the you know good for the Earth stuff right now. I'm like, Huge yeah. Earth Day project. Don't right? tossing the stuff out. Up there. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. So mm -hmm. anyway, so big and also a big shout out. A friend of mine uh, is doing this other place uh, that's restoring. Also, it's called Compass out in McMinnville. The place uh -huh. to go, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. McMinnville. Mm -hmm. And so she helped me out with some of these windows. So that's great. Shout out to well, this is too. another oh, awesome, great. awesome idea. Love yeah. this one. Shannon, thank you as always. You're welcome. Yeah. Very cool. And for another walkthrough of this DIY project, of course, we're going to have it posted on coin.com. And be sure to follow Shannon on Facebook for giveaways and more. Check out that new web episode, that new web series, Par Weekend Warriors Redo with Q. Again, dropping tomorrow on YouTube. Oh, so fun. And good job.